purpose in making the film? Yep. It's a really hard question. Um, for me, it came out of a relationship which we all had with the family and uh, being asked by Netta to come and film the Tombstone Unveiling. And then the really pivotal moment, I guess, was when the grave was trashed and part of me wanted to put on, roll up the sleeves and put on the boxing gloves and kind of go into bat, if you like, because I, f I was so affected by that, having been there. But it, it just, it also comes from a kind of deep sense of what documentary can be all about as well. Part of me feels like what we do is, is to record and to document and while you're doing that you're hopefully finding your stories and the strength and drama in your stories. And I always felt like from 1989, back going back to 1989, that we had this body of historically um, important material that we shot at the time and it was just sort of sitting there waiting for an opportunity to do something else with it and, and then it just kind of grew from there. So, I mean, I, I think Gail said it better than anybody else or better than I can, you know, it's to show everybody what this man was like and what he achieved, but also to do it in a kind of warts and all manner. We didn't want to turn him, well I didn't want to turn him into a hero. I think he is a hero, but I didn't want to just kind of be glossing over a lot of things and that's why with Netters and the family's um, openness and, and honesty in front of camera that um, you are able to get a sense of the complexities of the man rather than just the, um, the yah yah, you know, he's a hero and he helped create native title.